Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to edit the host file on your Windows 10 computer. So on Windows 10, you're not able to actually edit the host file within the System32 folder. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy workaround for this. So we're going to just jump right into it. And the first thing we're going to do is open up the Start menu. And you want to type in Folder Options. And best match should say File Explorer Options. Left click on that to open it up. So in any File Explorer Options, you want to go to the View tab right next to General. Left click on it. Underneath Advanced Settings, you want to select the Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives option. And you want to fill that circle in just by left clicking inside of it. And then left click on Apply and OK. And once you've done that, what we're going to do now is we're going to open back up the Start menu and you're going to type in File Explorer. Best match that comes up should say File Explorer directly above Desktop App. So all you want to do at this point is just left click on it one time to open it up. You want to left click on this PC on the left side. Left click on it one time. And now you want to go underneath whatever disk Windows is installed on. Most people should be the C drive and it will likely say local disk right next to it unless you've changed it at some point. So we're going to open up our local disk. And now we're going to go underneath Windows. So double click on the Windows folder. And now you want to go until you find System32. So scroll down here. And you want to double click on the System32 folder. Now you want to go underneath Drivers right here. Double click on it. Now it should be something that says ETC. You want to double click on that. Up at the top it should be a folder. And then it's going to be something that says host in here. You want to right click on it. Left click on copy. And now you want to go over to your desktop and in a blank space you want to right click. And then select paste. Now you want to right click on the file on your desktop. And then left click on properties. You want to make sure it doesn't say read only here because if it's checkmarked in here you want to uncheck it and then click on apply and OK. At this point you want to double click on the file. It's going to ask you how you want to open this file. Select notepad and then click on OK. And now at this point you could add any links that you wanted to add in here. And then once you're done I would recommend that you just click on file save once you're done making your changes. Close out of here. And now you want to just take it the one that was on your desktop, drag it back into this folder, and then you want to replace the file in the destination. You're going to need administrator permission, so select continue. And then you should be good to go, guys. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.